Hello and welcome back to another video. In this problem, we're asked to find the domain and range of the function f of x is equal to 2 over 3x minus 1. So we start with the function, let's call it g of x, is equal to 1 over x. It has a domain and range of negative infinity to 0, not inclusive, and 0 to infinity. So basically every value except for 0. And this is the domain and it's the range, right? Basically x is not equal to zero and g of x is not equal to zero. And f of x is g of x with transformations applied. So we have f of x is equal to two times one over three times x minus one third. I'm rearranging this so it's a little bit clearer to see what we're doing. So starting from x first, we subtract one third so therefore, if we're subtracting from x and not subtracting from f of x, right, the minus one third isn't out here. That's a horizontal shift. It's negative, so it's to the right, and it's one third unit. Next, we have a multiplication of x by three. Then that's different from multiplying the whole function by two. Multiplying just x by three, so that's a horizontal it is greater than one, so it is a horizontal shrink by a factor of three. And then finally, we multiply the whole thing by two, which is a vertical, not shrink, but stretch, by a factor of two. So what we have to do is apply these shifts to the original function and see how that changes the domain. So if we start with x is not equal to zero and g of x is not equal to zero. And first we have a horizontal shift to the right one third. So this becomes x does not equal one third. Then we horizontally shrink by a factor of three. Therefore, we have that x is not equal to this shrunk by a factor of three is one ninth. Then we have a vertical stretch by a factor of two, which means that g of x is not equal to two times zero, which is still g of x is not equal to zero. And I suppose this should now be f of x is not equal to zero. So the domain is that x cannot equal 1 ninth. The range is that it cannot equal 0. And in interval notation, which is what they want, this means we go from negative infinity to 1 ninths, and 1 ninth to infinity, not inclusive, and from negative infinity to 0, then 0 to infinity. And this is the domain and range of this function.